All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Mike here, and we're back for some more of the Yokai Watch 3 Let's Play. And if you didn't miss out during the last one, well, we are here in the Haunted Mansion right now of Chapter 7, and uh, let me just say that this chapter is going to be one of the most infuriating ones out of all the different missions that we have been going throughout here so far in this game. Um, basically, right now, if you guys don't know what is exactly happening, and if this is your first time watching throughout the series, you guys should go and watch Part 1 if you guys want to go and check out what the whole series has been happening throughout here in Yokai Watch 3 but basically what is going on is that during the last episode we have made it here to the Haunted Mansion and it seems like we have a split situation between two different characters that we have with Prox and Silver. Now currently Buck is now outside of the actual mansion itself and he doesn't know exactly what the heck is going on with us right now at this current moment in time. Well right now we have to go and actually look for different keys and during our way of looking for these different keys we'll then be able to go and hopefully try to open up the door to exit on our way out of here from this basement area type of place that's going to be happening from here but during the time that we are going to have to exit on out of here just like what we're doing right now um we're going to be reaching on our way into some sort of kitchen floor area within the mansion and the weird thing is is that basically there's two different kitchens here in this mansion so basically now uh what's going to happen here is that uh we're going to be basically locked in this actual kitchen right after and we have to go and be into this little escape room type of area and try to figure out what is the difference between these two places so that we can at least get something correct and you actually have to go and do this with actually both of your characters so if you get one on one side uh, you have to go and do it on the other side as well too so basically like even though it's like somewhat of like an escape room it's also kind of trying to find out like where's Waldo or I should say where's a Waldo yokai that we can go and try to search for that is going to be somewhat different in here with this place now i believe um this guy here this said yokai uh professor plumage uh will actually go and tell us that i think we have like three tries i think within this area or else you'll have to go and like restart the whole uh part all over again uh because there is going to be different other yokais that are going to be kind of causing a little bit of some annoyances because uh you will probably get yourself like a wrong type of answer but you have to find the difference of something that is moving around within this said kitchen that is uh doing some stuff here now uh i did go and check out on monday night raw which i have to say was really good after the uh, moments of uh, clash of the castle um i did get to see a little bit of drew mcintyre though uh pretty cool as well uh, I, I think I did fall asleep for like a little bit of what Monday Night Raw was so I don't remember too much that happened afterwards uh, within that situation from there. I know that I did get to see the um, uh, the Damien Priest segment at the very beginning of the episode uh, which that was really nice uh, to go and see and it seems like Seth Rollins also made his return so that was pretty cool if I have to say so uh, because I know that we haven't really seen Seth Rollins for like quite a little bit of time but at least now uh, we got at least some sort of uh, Money in the Bank match that's going to happen so we are going to have both with a Deviant Priest and Seth Rollins uh, situation that's going to be happening from there. So even though that if you guys don't know, I'm actually going to be heading to Money in the Bank uh, for July 6th for when that actually does happen in Toronto. So I will actually be there. So pretty excited to go and do that. That's going to be my very first actual pay-per-view that I'm actually going to be going and sitting where the cameras are going to be seeing. So uh, uh, now if you guys have probably seen my face before throughout my time of doing Twilight Princess, you guys may probably see me uh, kind of chilling in the uh, in, in the behind the areas where the uh, where where the other different audience members are going to be. <laughs> because I wanted to make sure that I get myself at least faced into the actual camera that's happening. <laughs> but me and one of my close friends, uh, not Kevin unfortunately, but one of my other friends, uh, we're actually going to get uh, heading off to that place, so it should be really cool. All right, now I'm pretty sure we are going to make sure that here on this side of Nate is that we are going to search for this other said difference yokai. Yeah, so you basically kind of have to, like, use all your different type of preferences to see which type of what is, like, completely different with each other. So we are going to go and see that this microwave here, or whatever this is, this who's that, is basically a complete difference on its own, because I don't think we ever got to see it on the other side of uh, Haley Ed's side there. So at least we got the correct answer for that, so that's a perfect type of thing right there. So very nice with that. Okay. Yeah, so uh, for Twilight Princess, I want to say we are going to be catching up on more of the uh, of the different 
uh, big pose that are happening. Uh, so we will be continuing onwards with the actual Arbitor uh, Temple. That's going to be happening from there. And uh, not only that, but uh, today is uh, June 8th. Uh, or, sorry, not June 8th, but June 18th, I should say. Uh, yeah, this is uh, during the actual time of this post recording here. Now, uh, I don't really know exactly what's going to be happening within the Nintendo Direct, so I'll have to give off my reactions and other things that happen afterwards within the next episode, if I have to say so myself. Uh, but currently, right now, uh, there is a Nintendo Direct happening, and I guess I can kind of give out a little bit of some predictions, that, or, or well, my hopes, I guess, uh, for what's going to be happening and what some things have actually occurred occurred within there um so if you guys don't know about uh like peorio and and um i don't know if you can actually go and rely on midori anymore with the situations that's going on at this point in time uh but before uh we did get like some information from both those two guys and uh they were actually talking about that there was some different filing of different trademarks that were happening uh like we got for example like there was like a, a kirby rainbow curse uh file trademark that was coming back uh there was something to do with star fox as well now which that's very interesting uh which i don't think we ever got to see a star fox game for quite a while i think the what was it like the last it, it, well at least some sort of latest one was the starlink one right which they kind of had like a little bit of a cameo within there for that starlink uh, game or something so uh it's pretty interesting to see for that for that type of uh, series to come back now i did hear that there's like this apparent supposed to be a star fox assault uh hd remake or remaster that's going to be coming for the nintendo switch which i would not mind that at all whatsoever i haven't played star fox assault on the gamecube for a very 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 long time unfortunately i do not have that game in my collection anymore but i wouldn't mind actually going and trying to pick that up uh, i actually do have star fox adventures but i don't really like that game all that too much to be honest with you but Star Fox Assault is very fun and uh that would be something to go and try to pick up at like at least at some point one day like for my collection though squeaky clean um, now, what else was there that was really interesting? Uh, apparently, there has been some rumors and talks about, like, uh, DK coming back. Uh, there was, like, some rumors about uh, Wind Waker, uh, Twilight Princess also showing up as well. Um, I think there's also been a lot of talks of Metroid Prime 4 apparently going to be something that's going to happen within the Direct. I'm not really too entirely certain if that's even correct or not for what the uh, Metroid Prime 4 is going to be. Because, uh, like, something they probably tell me is that, like, Metroid Prime 4 is probably not going to be coming for the Switch and gonna probably just be ending on over towards into the switch 2 or something at some point because it's been way too long now uh to go and kind of wait for metroid prime 4 to literally show up onto the nintendo switch because we're currently at the end of the lifespan of the switch to be honest with you so i don't know they could probably pull something crazy and maybe bring out metroid prime 4 before the switch is going to be ending soon but we'll see what happens um, so yeah, if you guys are uh, currently wondering about what's going on right now here in this particular part, well, we have to go and do another type of uh, back and forth situation, and that is going to be happening with uh, both of these two type of uh, yoke guys, these big type of uh, yoke guys that are here that are going to be needing some help on uh, with their bath time. So if you guys remember, like, the pig dude, we went and met up with him before back in Yokai Watch 1, so we're going to have to go and help him out again that's going to be here. We were going to have to try to make sure that we kind of at least uh raise up the the hot tub levels out here a little bit more because uh, this guy says that uh that the water temperature is just like around like the mid type of range but he wants it to be a little bit more higher so we're going to be needing uh, a certain type of yokai by the name of el gutso which we already know that we already have him we already added him uh before back in our time of our medallions uh but there is another said yokai here on nate's side that you do want to go and pick up with and that is going to be with pupsicle and pupsicle is going to be something that you're going to need uh, to go and use on Haley and side because we are going to go and have to reach back over to that area at some point and uh, we are going to have to go and see uh what is uh, gonna happen from there but we're almost getting ourselves closer to the end of this episode gutsy, gutsy. yep so let's see how gutso do his thing and with that he's gonna raise up that water and make it super scold and hot you know what to be honest with you if this type of yokai was doing that to me like if i was in a hot tub <laughs> uh, my whole body would be all burnt all over but since this, this guy's a, a, a big boss yokai out here, I guess he could probably take the heat anyways. 
All right. Well, that's all good for there for now. And uh, let's see. Can we get our key? Nope. Doesn't look like we can get our key right away. It looks like we're going to have to go and take care of Haley Ann's things first beforehand. Gutsy, gutsy. But yeah, if you go and head outside and you kind of check around with the different type of hallway areas, there is going to be like different like locked doors and other things that are going to happen. So unfortunately, there is going to be uh, a situation where... Um, like, uh, we're gonna have to kind of figure out where these rest of the other keys are going to be. Yeah, so currently right now, unfortunately, I forgot to do some editing here, it seems like. I forgot to, uh, basically kind of cut some things out for me to go and try to figure out where exactly where we need to go to right now at this moment. But, uh, I, I think, uh, during this way, we are gonna have to go and reach off into, uh, Haley Ed's side now. Uh, because I am gonna have to, like, try and, uh, figure out exactly what needs to happen here, uh, with dinner time. Yeah, because this area can get very, very backtracky, and you can potentially get yourself lost. So I had to, like, make sure where, ex where exactly I'm going throughout here. So, yeah, so now we have to adjust the temperature of water over here now. And there is going to be a baffle board, so we are going to have to go and set that up. And uh, let's just make sure that that's going to be all good. All right, so perfect right there. Got the baffle board all taken care of. Now, there is going to be an Arsene Yokai to get your help uh, for what we actually do need uh, for what needs to happen within the temperature. Uh, but I already want to let you guys know already, it is going to be with Pupsicle. Uh, it's not going to be with Chihuahua or anything. I, I, I think there is one. I think it could be different. It could be uh, Chihuahua as well. But, like, uh, just put down Pupsicle. I think that's what our correcting one is. But uh, we're going to go and do it here. But it is correct, but we don't have this guy yet. We do have uh, the evolution of Pupsicle, but we just don't have uh, that guy right there. But anyways, uh, we're going to go and end off the episode here for today. See you guys in the next one of Yo-Kai Watch 3. And of course, peace.